Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we are playing Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. And I know you may be saying, but Kevin, you played this before. Well, you're kind of right. I played the PS1 version, which is actually a totally different game. And this is the one I played as a kid, so I figured why not go back and play it. I talked about doing the Prisoner of Azkaban on PS2 and then I was like, wait, I didn't do the PS2 version of the Chamber of Secrets. What have I done? So I'd like to apologize for not bringing it to you sooner because it's an amazing game. All right. I stand corrected. <laughs> Every game looks worse than I remember it. Okay, that's new. I don't remember it having a QR code. This game was ahead of its time. I'm gonna have to fix that, aren't I? <laughs> Unless you guys don't mind. I mean, it's not that bad, is it? It's just extremely annoying. Oh my god, it's on his face. What's wrong with you? I wonder, did someone cast a spell on him or did he just put his head in the oven again? All right, you know what? I'm gonna try and fix this. All right, here we are again. I'm playing the actual PlayStation 2 version, and I'm pretty impressed. I thought it would look worse. That's why I tried the emulator first with this, because I've been doing a few PS2 games recently, and they always look so bad on the video. Emulators tend to look a slight bit better, but this game obviously didn't. But this looks really good. I'm really happy with this. And Fred, they fixed your face. Once you learn some second year magic, you'll be able to ring the bell. That'll take second year magic? And if you do... I can hardly hear you over this music, Fred. <laughs> The hell is that? Jesus, that's terrifying. You've got the little pests on the run. Yeah, but I think he just ran off into the corner. Are we just gonna leave them there? Ah, yes, the final boss. He who must not be named. The washing machine. <laughs> dad tried charming it. It doesn't sound good when you're telling your friends your dad tried to charm a washing machine. Why are you not helping? Like, this could kill me. Like, fair enough getting me to, you know, denome your shed and hit that jar with a spell, but this is extreme. It's actually trying to kill me. What the hell? All right, I think it just ate me. I'd love to see that in Aunt Petunia's kitchen. I'd love for that to murder my aunt. You look like you need a chocolate frog. Here you go. You'd have to knock the frog out before you can catch it. Oh, yes. Animal cruelty. Just what I like. What you have to do is flipendo them until they're dazed and confused. Wow, I've got to try this. <laughs> wow, I can't wait to knock one of them unconscious. See, this is the Harry I know and love. That lifeless stare. <laughs> right on target. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, murder. Wait, the hay bale had a wizard card? I don't understand. No, 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 no. I don't I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Get away. Get away. Get away. I just had a bit of PTSD of Harry Potter games shoving these cards down your throat. If you spin around for too long, you'll get dizzy. Oh, I got it over. <laughs> just barely, but it still counts. Yes, get destroyed, Fred. Brilliant throw, Harry. Thank you. Where are all these cards coming from, though? Great, a wizard card for my collection. Your collection? Come on now, you have two. I don't know if you can call that a collection. You need to do better than that, Harry. What? I did better than you. What an ass. For someone who's never denomed before, you've done an excellent job, Harry. Thank you. That's the praise I deserve. <laughs> That was actually more convincing than the movie. That was at least close, like he tried to say it. In the in the movie, he was just totally off. He's like, uh, Diagon Alley! This doesn't look like Diagon Alley. He was just staring at the back of this cupboard, but he knew. He's like, they don't use this type of wood in cupboards in Diagon Alley. What the hell is that? Sounds like the voice is in my head. Items like this at home that might embarrass me. It's my diary. I talk about boys. <laughs> God, what a creepy guy. He could only work here. Imagine him working at like a candy store or something. No, don't imagine that actually. He'd be a predator. Imagine him working at like a car dealership or something. Now, I gotta be careful here because the last time... <laughs> I like how Harry is being careful. Thanks, Harry. You're really listening to me. It's very dark in here. Yeah, that's very observant of you, Harry. Oh, I forgot the spell book. I think Harry is actually smarter than I am in this game. <laughs> he knows when we're missing a spell. He knows when to be careful. He knows the different grains of wood that different parts of the wizarding world uses. Oh, man, this game is so good. I'm remembering all the... Ah, oh, God, a hand. Hey, 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 hey. Need a hand? Oh, God, he didn't like my joke. Run, run. This is where I got to be careful because in the cutscene when I was playing, he just kept on running. Like, I left him there for 40 minutes and he just walked straight through the wall and out into the next room. He just kept going. That's right, I don't just break games here, I break them on my own time too. Get in there, go on, keep you captive. You don't deserve freedom. I'm Harry Potter. I decide who deserves freedom. Like this frog, but only so I can eat him. This Harry is a monster. I need an owl treat. Okay, my owl came with a note saying to feed him treats. This owl is smarter than me too. 
There you go. Brilliant. Thanks, Hedwig. God knows how the owl figured out how to do that. Doesn't appear to be a lever up here or anything. Even if there was, how would he pull it down? Maybe my owl has thumbs. Oh, Jesus, what a waste. A bit of Lumos should sort this out. Aha, yes, I see. Ow. Feckin' hell. I'm gonna piss off this guy who owns this shop pretty bad. <laughs> He's gonna come back and this whole attic is destroyed. Feckin' hell, what is this? Oh, I'm gonna see Hagrid soon. I'm so excited. I think he might be in here. Wait, what? What? Huh? Oh, he's hyperventilating. He's worried. I'd be worried too, dude. Oh, wait, I'm such an eejit. There's a gap here. God damn it. Gotta splinter cell this. The door's locked. There's bears on it. I don't think you need to check if the door is locked. I think we're pretty screwed already. I'm pretty sure the fire inspector would be upset that all the exits are blocked like this. All the hazards you have to get through, you'd be better off just facing the fire. And even for deliveries, like, look at this. It's just such a poorly ran business. Hagrid? 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 Harry! No, not you guys. Harry. I mean, your mom kind of looks like Hagrid, I guess. The flu powder went wrong, and I dropped all my things in the fireplace as I passed. Oh, you idiot. Well, let's all go to Flourish and Blots then. She's like, oh, I guess I'll just forget about my shit. Thanks, mom. A silver sickle. Wait, are they paying for my stuff? I'm such a rich kid. Why am I allowing this? I am so wealthy. It always amazes me in this game that everywhere is just closed. It's like, it's the start of school season. This is where you make your money. Oh, the joke shop is open. I'm going in. I spend all her hard-earned money. She's like, Harry, how could you do this? I gave it to you in good faith. And I'm like, I'm rich. I don't care. I'll buy whatever I want. Also, my voice broke when I was in the shop. <laughs> They recast Harry with some hardened criminal. Hello. How much are your stink pellets? Full sickness. Buy them. I can't afford it. God damn it. I'm already trying. You know what? I'm leaving. You are harassing. You know, for a guy running a joke shop, you don't seem that cheery. Full sickles for a pack of ten. Sounds like you're talking about cigarettes, not jokes. Hey, Molly, you got any more sickles? I need to buy a pack of smokes. <laughs> Harry Potter in the chamber of addictive personality. There's a sickle here. Molly, come on, help. This is like your whole family's life savings. <laughs> She's like, this Harry guy is a bit of a dick. <laughs> I'd like to buy that, please. What? The standard book of spells. Oh, just that. He knows what I want. This isn't a library, Potter. Take it home. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> don't encourage him. Don't thank him for being allowed to watch him read a book. I know he's super famous and all, but just stop it, man. I think I dropped my brass scales when I passed the fireplace in the magical menagerie. Oh, that was pretty stupid of you. Definitely fell into the back of Gamble and Jay. Oh, that's also pretty stupid. Oh, oh, I'm going right there. Bet you can smash those barrels over there. Or I could just not break someone's property and just take the coin. The thing is, someone's obviously protecting this coin. This is probably some homeless person's money that I'm taking. And yet, I go ahead and do it. Let me see Hagrid. Do you ever think, like, my obsession with Hagrid comes across as unhealthy? Yeah, I didn't think so either. I just wanted to check with you. It helps that you can't actually answer me because I just fill in the blanks. You just said to me, No, no, if anything, you're not obsessed enough. Oh, more stuff to break. Yeah! Yes. Oh, God damn it! What is with the construction quality of these buildings? I'm definitely getting some Sims vibes off this place, which no one should ever say, but hey, I play games my own way. I missed. Are you serious? I am so lame. Oh my God. <laughs> what kind of a place is this? And again with the construction quality. Like, what would they use this for? They're a pub. Let's break their stock in protest. Oh, wait, we might actually be able to use that to climb up. I always discover new things to do by vandalizing places. Wait, that's Ginny's thing? Well, I found her stuff by accident. Hagrid, there you are. How could I miss you? Hello, Harry. Oh my god, don't pose like that. Don't flex on me. The Leaky Cauldron is the finest pub in London, Harry. It's got a huge cellar, you know. Yeah, I know. I really miss Norbert. I think about him almost every day. Can I just edit that so he says Kevin instead? I'll do my best. Take a watch. I really miss every I think about him almost every day. All right, that's all I needed to get from that man. I like how that pub actually baits children to go over and get this coin and then drops you down. Oh, that was too close. I almost fell in again. Butter beer's the best drink in the entire wizarding world. Yeah, just encourage this miner to drink. That's great. Make yourself at home and have a good look around. The cellar is full of surprises. Okay, yeah, he's a pedophile. All right, I'm out of here. Hagrid, I'll see you later. I love you, but I don't love the company you keep. I don't know where else I'm supposed to go. I assume the joke shop since it was one of the only places open. Ginny said her quill was definitely in here. 
<laughs> Fred's like, oh, I don't know, don't ask me. Thank you very much. I'll just crawl into this other room. This guy's clearly another pedophile. <laughs> don't worry, he's got beans. A bean! Oh, another one of our things. Great. Jenny's quail. Imagine you came into his back room and then you saw a child crawling out of the wall like that. Like, you're gonna arrest that man. God, I don't think I'm even gonna get to Hogwarts by the time this episode ends. <laughs> No, sorry, I'm an absolute dick. I'm coming in. I don't care if you're closed. I'm Harry Potter. Kids today. You really should have locked the door, because that's not going to stop me. I'll never be a good person. Like, I'm sure if you just said to him, uh, I... Oh, God! What the hell? Oh, I found the real pedophile. Run! Run! It's not opening. Open, 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 open. That was the scariest thing that ever happened to me. Yeah, steal his shit now as well. I came in when he... What the hell? Huh? Okay, good. Relaxing music. But I came in when he told me they were closed. I smashed his baskets that were blocking the doorway, and then I stole his stuff. I wonder what happens if I do get caught. Stop hiding. Stop hiding. Just, just go. There we go. What? I can't hear you, buddy. Did you say kill his stock? Break the rest of his baskets. Never. I'm not done ruining your life. Oh, Harry, you're so wonderful. Yeah, I know. I just ruined some people's lives. <laughs> Two of them are being arrested as we speak for being pedophiles, and the other I destroyed his livelihood. Oh my god, stop staring at me like that. I will be taking up the post of defense again. Uh, Lucius Malfoy is just skulking in the background there. I think he might be up to something. Famous Harry Potter. Leave him alone. What? No, leave him finish. He was complimenting me. Potter! Take this one. <laughs> what? What was the cutscene? What? <laughs> That's so scary. Harry, we missed the train. Missed the train. What? The others literally just walked out. There's no way they made it either. This guy's still talking. I can't hear you properly. How didn't you see us walking out? We just walked out right in front of you. Oh, this game's brilliant. I love it. I'll meet you in the courtyard outside the leaky cauldron. All right. See you there, mate. We have a few points. Right, I don't know why we didn't just walk here together. Did you remember to get your potion file for mole peppers, Harry? Wait, I haven't even done my shopping yet? Don't look at me like that. Go in. Excuse me, how much is this potion vial? It costs eight sickles. Aw, oh, feck off, man. I don't have that kind of money. I guess the bank would be my best option. Oh, wait, there's barrels. Okay, I guess someone thought the bank fees were too expensive. They just stored their money outside in these barrels. <laughs> nice. Oh, I don't know what I put that in your robe, dude. That's a risky move. Perhaps I should find Ron in the courtyard of the leaky cauldron. Or perhaps we can actually afford those joke things in the shop now. I think it's time I went to Hogwarts. No, I, I want to buy this leaky... stuff. Yes. <laughs> He's laughing because he just ripped me off. Ron, I know we're already super late, but look what I got. <laughs> he likes them. <laughs> <laughs> the poor kid. Ready to go to Hogwarts, Harry? Yep, now that you stink. Oh my god, that car just drove through the building. Yeah! Wait, did he just ditch? This is for throwing that stink pellet at me, Harry. <laughs> Jumps out the car. <laughs> Joke's on you, Ron. I landed safely. Oh, I don't care. You can be as menacing as you want, but you will not be as menacing as those pedophiles back in Diagon Alley. Good thing I kept that in my robe. Time to down it. Even through that car crash, it didn't get spilled. <laughs> Where are you, Ron? Are you in here? Yeah, let's just crawl in here. Definitely not a bad idea. The hell is this? I've been drugged. One of the pedophiles has drugged me. Ow. Oh my god, in the end, I killed myself. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, sweet bejesus. How do I beat them? Okay, that hurt them, but I also hurt myself. All right, let's get out of here quick. Crawl into that hole. Oh, Harry passes out high as feck again. I'm high as a kite. Yes, Phil Vile with his magic tree juice. Maybe his whole thing is just a high that Harry's on. He's still back with the Dursleys under the stairs, just high as feck. Wait, how is the car here and I was all the way back there? I'm confused. Whoa, whoa, I'm enjoying this, to be honest. Yeah, this is great. Oh, wait, I should be hitting the eye. Okay. I just hit Ron instead. I'm still super high. Ha, <laughs> can't get me when I'm drinking, said Harry as he downed his 17th beer. All right, finally, I beat him. Oh, can we finally just get to the school, Ron? If I should catch either of you out after tonight, I will definitely deduct house points. 
Oh, he didn't even take house points from us? He's not so bad of a guy after all. I mean, I can't really think of much more we could have done. We were horrible tonight. I'm going to talk to Snape again and thank him. You are testing my patience. <laughs> I have that effect on a lot of people. All right, guys, I think we're going to end it there. I know we didn't even reach Hogwarts properly, but I think it's already gone on long enough. I really hope you enjoyed, though. Appreciate you watching, as always, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.